What's that for? It's uh, it's a great ride. They do they uh, it's about 470 miles I guess across Iowa. It takes six days, and uh, we just did the last day. We joined in the last day, uh, but uh, this year Lance Armstrong was riding in it, and uh, I mean I think close to 20,000 riders 20, from Iowa. Yeah. So just an, a huge group of people and a lot of fun. Stops all along the way to get food and drinks. We stopped yesterday for uh, I got cherry pie. <laughs> What'd you guys get? Strawberry rhubarb. <laughs> Some cherry pie, but it, you know, it was fun. Most athletes don't brag about where they stop and eat <laughs> no. pie. I mean, actually, well, that's sort of a, of a sign. I mean, do you guys go saw like, did Lance Armstrong to stop for pie? I'm I, sure. I, I didn't yeah, see no, no, we did. I think he'd taken off by the last day. I think he rode the first couple of days. So I don't we think we could him. even come close to him. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of a tradition too in the in the rag bride to stop and get some pie, stop and get some ice cream, stuff like that. That's not really root beer float. It's yeah, not it's too not intense. More of a yeah. ride than a race. But, <laughs> but it was fun because when we stopped, everywhere we stopped, we uh, you know people saw that we we kind of had some Romney paraphernalia with us, and they they were uh, they were excited that we were there, riding on behalf of my dad. We got to talk to a lot of people about the campaign, about uh, his candidacy. It went pretty well. What do most people ask you about your father here in Iowa? Um, you know, when we talk to them, they just want to know, uh, you know, what kind of leader he is, what kind of father he is. That matters a lot to them. Uh, we talk to them about how much integrity he has as a person and his character. We talk about his ability to go in and rescue things. He's rescued, you know, the Olympics and, and, and Massachusetts. He's been very good at solving problems. And they like to hear about his background and, and how he would fix Washington. Yeah, usually the question I get is, why should we vote for your dad? That's just, you know, you're out on the road, why should we vote for him? <laughs> And uh, usually my answer is, you know, he believes in strength for America, strength in American families, strength in the American economy, and uh, strength for the uh, American military. Craig, what do you think when uh, you first heard your father wanted to run for president? I thought it was pretty crazy. <laughs> 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 Typical um, son, I guess, right? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it, it, I, at first I thought it was crazy, and I, I thought, you know, that's, that's a, it's an amazing idea. I don't think it'll ever happen. But then when we really started seriously discussing it, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know what, he's really in a unique position to be able to do this, and he's got the qualifications, and, he, and he's the type of leader our country needs. So it went from being this far-fetched idea to something like, you know, he really has to do this. Was there a family discussion around the table, or, or and over what period of time? There were a lot of discussions uh, over, I would say, over a period of a year or so. We, we just kind of contemplated what would it mean running not only for him but also for the family for for his kids for his grandkids and we kind of saw it as um, as an exciting thing of course but also as potentially a sacrifice and a sacrifice of, of his time of his privacy of our time and privacy uh, but one that we felt really good making and, and one that you know obviously it's it's also an, an, a very exciting thing we get we get to get out and meet people and talk to them about my dad talk to, talk to them about uh, what's happening in the country and for us it's just a great privilege uh, to be able to meet all the people that are so energizing i mean we we run into people that are so active in politics it's really humbling uh, to see how much they do you know and how much they care about our country it's been fun we've been able to see each other more too we uh, yeah. i mean we, we live in all all across the country from california to boston so the campaigns really brought us together and, and helped us uh, be able to see each other a whole lot and my parents a whole lot and help them see the grandkids so it's actually been a great time. We've uh, spent a lot of time together. Were you involved in the race for governor? Uh, slightly. I mean, I was uh, I was uh, away at, at you know and, and uh, doing some some work, but uh, we worked a little bit on the on the gubernatorial campaign. How about you two? Were you involved? I did. Yeah, I was there. Um, I, I worked full time on his uh, Senate uh, race in '94, but this time around in 2002, I was there for most, a lot of the summer and helped him out. It's fun to help him. He's you know, it, it's hard for us not to help him. When he's running, he puts so much of his heart and soul into it uh, that it's hard for, for that not to spread out to the rest of his family. And, and he loves having us around. It's really funny. We, he, we were in two different parts of Iowa on Saturday, or on Friday, I guess it was. And he's like, hey, can't you guys just sneak over and see me? And we had a couple of things we had to do. We couldn't make it over. He was pretty disappointed. But he loves, he loves hanging out with us and having family around. He loves, uh, particularly if my mom can be with him, he loves that. And, uh, but any of the boys, he'll take any of us, or, or the daughter-in-laws, or the family. He, I was here last week with my wife and kids, and he just he traveled around in the Mint Mobile with us the uh, most of the most of the time we were together. Uh, so, when you, when you drive this around, you get more questions about the race, the candidate, or the Mint Mobile. I'd say a lot about the candidate. You know, they 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 see the uh, they see the bus, and they want to know, you know, why should we vote for your dad? Who is Mitt Romney? What's he all about? And they love to just come up and you know hear our perspective. We're his sons. We we obviously are biased, uh, but How we know. How biased are you? Very biased. I mean. <laughs> 
we know we know him intimately well, and he's such a he's such a great father. Uh, it's hard for us not to brag about him and not to tell we, people. We know all his faults as well. <laughs> and so the fact we know all his faults and everything. Like, all right, you got that's an entrance. Yeah, you got yeah. you got to tell me that one. Like uh, he has way too much energy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on, he must do something. He's too hard to work. He's too hard to work. It's like you no, know, it's job true. It's do. funny. We we sometimes when we go to uh, we, we go to New Hampshire to vacation as a family. And we'll be there, and we're kind of sitting on the beach, you know, relaxing. And you look over, and he just can't sit down for that period of time. He has to be out doing something, producing. He's on the tractor, or he's, you know, he's chopping wood. He's doing something. He's got to be producing. So he really does have a ton of energy. Who's the disciplinarian, your mother or your father? Father. Yeah, dad. <laughs> Don't go to dad if you want money. Really? <laughs> yeah, that go to mom. Fun. She's a soft touch? She's very soft. Easy? Not uh, easy. No. But understanding. How, how do you uh, how do you get to her? Look pathetic or? Yeah, I had a, a, I had a funny I had a little funny voice I used to be able to do any time I was about to get a spanking I could do a little funny voice and <laughs> that was it. I she mean, just, yeah, she gave it. Nothing. She threw in the towel. Yeah, nothing. How so. do you guys? How do you uh, get? They to her? never spanked us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you never deserved it, right? You're right. Exactly. No, I, I, I was the baby, so I never got punished. <laughs> That's I was a safe Craig, uh, Craig escaped <laughs> scot free from anything. Are you under the radar in the family? What do you mean? Like, well, it's, nobody notices when you're uh, up to no good. A you know, I think they notice, but I just get away with it because I'm the baby. How do you deal with the fact that uh, your father's can I mean, it's inevitable that someone says something nasty. Yeah. I mean, hurt? It, you get you get thick skin. Um, it still hurts, though. It you don't does. like it's it. It's tough. It's not, it's not nice. It's not fun. It's not, <laughs> you know, it's one of the, it's just, it's part of politics, though. I mean, you kind of, we, we got together this Christmas and talked about, you know, we really made the final decision. We got together as a family and made the final decision. Uh, as to whether or not we think he had to run, and we all, I mean, this is part of what we talked about, you know, you, you know you're going to go into this and get whacked a couple of times, and, and uh, you, don't, you know, you know how, how hard they're going to whack you and what you're going to look like at the end of this thing. Uh, they've made some politicians look pretty bad, and uh, so, you know, you, you go into it expecting it, and you, you, you know it's going to happen, and it's part, of, uh, it's part of the deal. Do you Google your practice. father to see what people are saying? I haven't really done that. Have you guys done that? I mean, Google I keep, keep oh, yeah. track of the news. Dude, he does. Yeah. He just said he does. I do, absolutely. Do you? Oh, yeah, sure. I do every once in a while, but it's hard. I mean, if you see a negative story, it's hard to... I, I maybe do it every once in a while, and then I'll see a story, I just, you know... I wish I didn't, but I'll I do. I can't help myself. It's hard. <laughs> How often do you do you gotta it? see. Uh, I'll look every day and see what people are saying Two, and see if there's new three. articles. Yeah. <laughs> I look at our blog. We, we you know, yeah. we, we write a little blog about uh, our travels and how we're helping our dad, and it's fun to kind of see what the brothers have written, so I keep good track of that, as well as a couple other blogs to see what's happening in the news. How are the brothers writing? Are they any good at it? They're, yeah, they're great. I mean, the pictures are a lot of fun, too, just yeah. to see what everyone's up to, and, it's, uh, and to see the people they're meeting across the country. It's really fun. Good way for us to kind of keep, keep tabs of each other. Does Tad boss you guys around? <laughs> a little bit? Cut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does he, is he bossy as the oldest? No, he's, uh, he's not he's bad. Good, yeah. yeah, he's... Um, He's actually, I mean, he's a good example for us. He's a good example of someone who's gone in and given a lot of his time and energy to my dad. And, um, you know, he's, he's a little closer to the campaign because he's there full time. So we actually look to him for a little bit of direction, a little leadership. As in terms of brother dynamic, I mean, it can't be all perfect like that. I mean, one of the brothers has got to be, like, needling the other ones a little bit. <laughs> I, think, I think there's a little bit of needling back and forth, but nothing, nothing too serious. That There's a lot of definitely. bantering with, with the <laughs> brothers. We we make fun of each other all the time. We give each other a hard time on the blog occasionally. We uh, you know we tease each other, for sure. Here's a quiz for you. What's inside the Mitmobile? We were in it in Iowa. Now it's your turn to see.